Let's learn from the wisdom of stories because there is no other way which is more powerful and fun to learn. But before we start today's story, let's roll the music. In this story, I want to explain to you the power of faith. How our faith can move mountains, change things in the world and make those things happen in our lives that we really want. In this story, there's a man who's traveling, taking a flight to go to another city where he has to make a presentation. And as the plane takes off, he opens his laptop, starts working on his presentation. And as they're flying, they're close to the destination. The pilot all of a sudden announces that attention, we have really bad weather coming up and we cannot fly any further. And we don't have enough fuel to go back. So we're gonna have to land at a small airport of a small town nearby. And we have to wait for the weather to become better and then we can refuel and continue our journey. So this plane lands at this small town airport. The passengers get out, go into the terminal and this man rushes up to the airline crew and says, I mean, I have to be there at the city. I have to make a presentation. There are thousands of people waiting for me to listen to my presentation. I cannot be late. And he was told that this is beyond anybody's you know, control. This is bad weather and we cannot fly in this bad weather and put everybody's lives at risk and danger. So we'll have to wait it out. And as he was discussing, there is a stranger who walks up to this man and says, are you Dr. Smith? He says, yes, I am Dr. Smith. Do you know me? He says, yeah, you are a very famous doctor. And I know that you're going to the city at a big conference where thousands of people are waiting for your presentation. He says, yes, that's true. He says, but then do not be upset because you can still make it because that city is not very far now from here. You can still take a cab and still reach there in time. So Dr. Smith thanks this man, gets out, takes a cab. Just a few minutes later, this bad weather hits and it's pouring. And a few minutes later, the cab driver says, sir, we cannot drive any further because the weather is so bad that I cannot see even like two feet ahead of me. We can get off the road and hit a tree and risk our lives. There is this small house that I see nearby, you know, on a farm. Maybe we can just go and take shelter there for some time, wait the weather out. And then when the weather gets better, we can drive again. Well, there's no option. So it drives up in front of that house. They go up and knock on the door, which is surprisingly open. And they hear a voice from inside of an old lady saying that, please come in. I know the weather is bad and you might need shelter. And anything that you need, please help yourself in the kitchen. I'm sorry I cannot come and help you because I'm looking after my little grandson who's sick. So they went in, got some water and curious, they went to this room where the old lady is taking care of the grandson. So the doctor asked, what's wrong with your grandson? You know, his parents died in a car accident a few years ago and I'm the only one looking after him. And he's been diagnosed with this very rare condition which can be treated by only one doctor. And I don't have the money or the means to take him to this doctor for the treatment. But I have complete faith in this universe that my grandson will be treated by this doctor and he will get better. So I asked her, this old lady, curiously, who is that doctor? And she says, oh, that famous Dr. Smith. And this doctor has a tear rolling down his eyes, understanding the faith, the power of this woman that her grandson would be treated and that made his plane land in the small town, made him take a taxi, which had to stop in front of this house, overwhelmed. And so grateful, he said to this old woman, I will take care of your grandson. I will treat him without any cost and I'll make sure he's okay. So this is a story that explains that our faith can move mountains, shape this world and make things happen that we want in our life. So if you want things to happen in life, keep your faith strong. No matter how bad the conditions are, keep your faith strong that good things will happen. Thank you for listening to the story. By subscribing and sharing our exclusive content, you can join us in our mission to transform this world to become a better place to live. For more information, you can go to sanjeevshivananda.com.